The mayor we are talking about is Patrick Royan. Until late last night, he was the mayor of College Park, Maryland. Now he's facing criminal charges that could put him away for decades. WSA 9 Scott Broom joins us live from Prince George's County Police Headquarters in Upper Marlboro with details. Scott. This is stunning news for people, neighbors I talked to today, who know Mayor Patrick Woyan, now ex-mayor of College Park, Maryland. They viewed him as nothing but a major civic figure. But today, detectives here in Prince George's County have charged the now ex-mayor with 56 counts of possession and distribution of child pornography. That's 40 counts of possession and 16 counts of distributing it on the Internet, operating from his home on Lackawanna Street in College Park. This is after the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children found a social media account showing, a very, uh, showing very explicit images and videos of kids. And they raised the alarm with police here in January. Detectives in Prince George's learned the account on a site called Kick came back to Wohan, even though he attempted to mask his activity using a virtual private network. According to charging documents in the case, he even used his city email address as an account recovery tool, the documents say. Police went to his College Park home to serve an early morning search warrant Monday. They seized phones and other devices they say had the images on them. And Wo Yan admitted he had the files and shared them, according to court papers I've just review, uh, reviewed. Wo Yan resigned as mayor of College Park last night. He was arrested overnight and charged this morning here in Prince George's County. He's been the mayor in College Park since 2015 on the city council there since, since 2007. He is a uh, civil rights attorney who was a plaintiff in the landmark case that helped overturn Maryland's ban on same-sex marriage. He's lived at the home on Lackawanna Street in College Park with his partner uh, for many, many years, according to neighbors there. Prince George's County Police are standing by uh, to give a briefing to the media, so we'll be covering that and getting back to you with any updated details police may release here in Prince George's County. Reporting live at police headquarters in Prince George's, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. A leader in that community for so many years, Scott. I'm sure a lot of people learning this news are extremely shocked at this hour. All right, thanks so much, Scott.